Hello, Commanders! I am Xero, War Robots lead game designer. I answered some of your questions on Reddit recently. Today I am here with a recap for those of you who missed it. My colleague designers here will help me to answer some more. Hey everyone, I am Dmitry, War Robots game designer. Hello, I am Victoria, I am War Robots junior game designer. Hi, I am Ted, War Robots game designer. There are a lot of ways to restore durability in combat nowadays. It takes away the premium from the repair bots. Do you plan to make the support class more viable? Definitely, but not by playing around with great structural damage. In future updates, repair will only be one of the tricks from a support bot's arsenal. Uh, think shields, suppression and more. Will there be a new Tier 4 mothership next year? How many new robots are in plans for 2022? We plan on releasing five new robots and three new titans next year. And yes, there will be new motherships. Join our Discord. We sometimes share links there with content that's still in development. Why do the old bots cost that much gold? It doesn't add up. We were thinking exactly the same. During the preparation of 7.7, .7, we reconsidered prices for most of the lower tier equipment. The list of new prices is in the video description. For some items, it also means cheaper upgrades. Can you work on adding new maps as hard as you work on adding new robots? In fact, we already put as much effort into creating maps as we do with robots. But maps are very time-consuming. It takes nearly a year for the art and level design department to do their part. Right now, they are primarily focused into upgrading uh, graphics for old maps. Then we will move to the new one. Why don't we add module slots or design legendary pilots for the old robots? The role of the good old robots is to help new players learn the ropes. The less complex they are, the better. War Robots is a mobile game and we want to keep the amount of mechanics at the entry level to the minimum. Will there be a way to communicate to your team in battle? Combat pings like I need backup and form up on me are one of the features on the improvement list. We aren't sure uh, of priority for these features, but we definitely have plans to add it. Why do you add new items instead of new features and technical improvements? Short answer, we don't. There are different teams within the company that work on different types of tasks. Game designers like me, well, we design new content and features. Technical artists create the visuals. Code teams develop and tweak the core of the game. Revenue managers ensure that the company remains profitable. And so on. More content doesn't mean less technical tweaking. We fix bugs and introduce tons of optimization with every major update. Will there be any improvements to the targeting system? We made some really important tweaks to the system in 7.7. .7. Now you should always be able to fire back at the robot up in the air or down on the ground. Additionally, the aiming system will now ignore targets that aren't in front of you. This gives you a more direct control over the aiming process. You just need to turn in the right direction. We will continue working on the targeting system in 2022. Massive drone update. When? We are working on it. Well, at this point we are right in the docs, so I can only give you the general idea of where the, this is going. Uh, the main goal is to make each drone a unique and valuable item, regardless of its microchip builds. A drone should be easily distinguishable, uh, like a weapon. This will make war robot battles a bit less chaotic. Let's wait for the prototypes on test server. 